As 2021 dawns, the war on our culture moves into high gear. The opportunistic intersection of the resistance to the Trump presidency, the rise of the monopolistic tech giants, the spurious panic over the psychologically weaponized CCP virus in the form of COVID-19, and its concomitant loss of personal freedom, the neo-Marxist hijacking and worsening of race relations, and the legalistic undermining of US laws and institutions have all evolved into a perfect storm of destruction that not only threatens the future of the United States, but actively seeks its destruction. Call it cancel culture writ large, says author Michael Walsh in a column published in the Epoch Times. He states, the destruction of classical Western civilization, of which the United States was once the apogee, is, in fact, the goal of the post-Rousseau, post-Marx, post-Frankfurt school left's political philosophy. However, many fought to preserve our civilization throughout history. We might call this patriotism, or at the very least, enlightened self-interest and national pride. On the malignant left, however, it's decried as jingoism, racism, white supremacy, and other odious epithets, as if Western civilization weren't a magnificent achievement but a plot against the planet, systematic even, as the current voguish parlance might have it. Thus, it is that a journeyman, political reporter Dan Baltz, can write with a straight face in the Washington Post. For Trump supporters, cultural preservation of American long dominated by a white, Christian majority remains a cornerstone of their beliefs. That helps to explain their attachment to a president who has warned that the Democrats and their allies are determined to rewrite the nation's history and destroy its heritage. That the United States as a political entity was founded by white Christians, and Bolts may have added, males from the British Isles, and nobody else never seems to occur to him. On the left, there is no room for facts in their cosmogony, only malicious motives regarding things that somehow just sprang into being, like Athena from the head of Zeus. But the fact is, Democrats and their allies, BLM, Antifa, Socialist, and Neo-Communist, really do want to rewrite the nation's history and destroy its heritage. The riots and cultural revisionism of 2020 surely prove that. The latest comes from the People's Republic of Massachusetts, where Homer's Odyssey and other classics have come under their basilisk gaze. A sustained effort is underway to deny children access to literature, according to a commentary column appearing in the Wall Street Journal. Under the slogan, hashtag disrupt text, critical theory ideologues, school teachers, and Twitter agitators are purging and propagandizing against classic texts, everything from Homer to F. Scott Fitzgerald to Dr. Seuss. Their ethos holds that children shouldn't have to read stories written in anything other than the present day vernacular, especially those in which racism, sexism, ableism, and anti-Semitism and other forms of hate are the norm, as young adult novelist Padma Venkatraman writes in School Library Journal. No author is valuable enough to spare, Ms. Venka Traman instructs. Walsh continues, I'm often asked, once they've accomplished the destruction of Western civilization in the name of the marginalized, with what do they propose to replace it? Ancient Chaldea? Ming Dynasty China? Wakanda? Or the Amazonian wonderland of Wonder Woman? My answer, like Michael Corleone's to Senator Gary, is this. Nothing. My offer is this. Nothing. Or to quote another famous movie line, some men just want to watch the world burn. Some men just want to watch the world burn. The author poses the question at the end. They're not just trying to cancel Odysseus, or Shakespeare, or even Trump anymore. They're trying to cancel you. What are you going to do about it?